It's been uh, four days since the tragic helicopter crash that killed Kobe Bryant, his 13 year old daughter and seven others. For the second straight day, the Lakers as a team practicing. LeBron James, you'll see his shorts, they're rolled up on his left leg, fresh tattoo there in honor of Kobe. Anthony Davis also had new ink on his right leg honoring Kobe. One of Kobe's former teammates, Derek Fisher, hugging Quinn Cook right there. He grew up idolizing Kobe Bryant. Like many have, we've seen stars from the soccer world, hockey, and now golf remembering Kobe. The Phoenix Open today, Justin Thomas sporting a lower Marion jersey. That's Max Homa. The Kobe 24, Bryson DeChambeau with the number eight on his shoes. Tony Finau wearing custom Mamba kicks designed for him in 2016. All week, we've shown you scenes outside the Staples Center where fans from everywhere have come to show their respect to Kobe, his family, and the victims involved in the crash with flowers, songs, stories, communal grief. It is the center point. And last night, Kobe's wife, Vanessa, went to Instagram thanking everyone for their support. Today, it was Lakers owner Jeannie Buss in her first public comment since the death of Kobe Bryant. Here's part of what Buss posted, quote, Kobe... I don't know how to express what you mean to me, my family, and the L.A. Lakers. My father loved you like a son, which makes us family. She went on to say, Vanessa, Natalia, Bianca, and Capri, I am so sorry for your loss. We are grateful to have you in our lives, and we will always be here for you. To the families that also lost loved ones on Sunday, the entire Laker family mourns with you. Laker Nation... We are one family, grieving the loss of people we all loved dearly. We will mourn together, cry together, but we will also heal together, love together, and win together. We love you. Lakers head coach Frank Vogel was the only member of the organization who talked to the media today. I do feel like we're getting into the flow of things uh, a little bit more. There's, uh, you know, we've talked at the beginning of the week of there being a, it's just a build-up. Day three, we're a little closer to, you know, to playing our game, and you know, today was uh, very focused on the uh, you know, Portland Trailblazers. You know, we know it's going to be a tough game uh, emotionally, but um, yeah, I think we're all looking forward to getting back out there. But this is about our whole Laker family, you know, and um, an extended family, meaning you know, our fan base and Laker Nation. So. Um, you know, there will be some sort of uh, tribute. I don't want to get into any details of what it will look like. Um, you know, but this is going to be about all of us. NBA reporter Dave McMenamin has been all over this story. He joins us now here live from the Lakers training facility. Dave, what more can you tell us about the team's plan to honor Kobe and his family tomorrow night when they host the Blazers? Yeah, Kevin, Friday is going to be a basketball game, but it's going to be so much more than that. There's going to be some sort of a tribute for Kobe Bryant, his daughter Gianna, and also the seven other victims of that tragic helicopter crash from over the weekend. And the team is considering all sorts of variables. Who's going to sing the national anthem? Do they do a video tribute after every timeout or uh, the break in between quarters? Is there a speaker before the game? Is there an extended halftime ceremony? Uh, do we bring out uh, families of the victims onto the court? These are all the things they're trying to determine. One thing I can tell you, they are very cognizant of the fact that this needs to be a healing moment, not just for the team, not just for the organization, but for Los Angeles City as a whole. Well said there. Later on Sports Center, Maria Taylor will tell us what the team plans to do for the Mamba Academy team at the game.